Hi, I'm Kelly Snyder, and I'm here to show you how to make your first flight with the Alias Quad Rotor Helicopter. Making your first flight with the Alias is very easy and exciting. First, make sure you have a fully charged battery installed in your Alias. My battery's already been installed right here in my Quad Rotor Helicopter. Next, you'll need to find an appropriate area for your first flight. It should be an open area at least 10 feet wide by 10 feet deep, free of any obstacles that might get in your way. Let's start by turning on your transmitter. And next, we're going to connect the battery to your alias. Mine's already been installed, so we're just going to connect it right here. And see the blue light here? The blue solid LED indicates that it's powered on and it's linked to our transmitter. So we're just going to snap the battery plug right here up into the retainer and tuck the wires into the canopy. Now we're ready to go. Let's move out of the studio and into a better location for our first flight. Place your alias in the middle of the flying area with the bright blue LED facing towards you. This orientation is called nose out, with the nose of the alias facing away from you. Then step back at least 10 feet from your alias. Now with a little help from our flight expert here at Latrax, John, we're gonna move the throttle stick to the full down position and click the throttle stick to arm the flight system. Gently push the throttle stick forward until the model begins to lift off. Reduce throttle to maintain a hover with the model that's at least three feet off the ground. This height will help keep the model away from the ground turbulence for a much more stable flight. Now let's move the transmitter control slowly and gradually until you become familiar with how the alias will respond. While maintaining a hover, gently move the flight stick left, now right, forwards, and back. Now back in the center, let's try a pirouette by gently pushing the throttle stick to the left or right. Stop the pirouette when the blue LED is facing you once again. If you want more speed and a greater response, you can switch to fast mode right from the transmitter. Press the flight stick once to enter fast mode, indicated by the EXP1 on the LCD screen. The transmitter will blink once and beep two times, indicating that you are now in fast mode. In fast mode, your alias will pitch and roll farther and move much faster. This mode is best for outdoor flight. As you can see, my alias is much faster and more responsive with the help of John in this fast mode. And that's how you make your first flight with the alias. For more troubleshooting tips, flying instructions, and action videos, log on to latrax.com. I'm Kelly Snyder. Thanks for watching.